Good morning. Let's talk about how the reason that the that uh, chiropractic is addressing a vital and fundamental aspect of health, and that it, to, in order to do that, we're going to look at the embryological development of a fetus, which, as you know, an egg and a cell come together and they create. Well, you can zoom in here. They create one cell that then divides into two cells and four cells and eight cells. And pretty soon you have a blastula, which many cells, but they're still all identical. So they can, they each contain all of the information to create a, a whole new individual. If it were to separate off, it would be able to make a twin. And then what happens at this stage of development is an infolding of these, the, the, the blastula in which makes, this is a 20 day old embryo and it's all, it's all brain. It's all nervous tissue, the brain at this end, the somites that represent the spinal segments later and the neural fold at the bottom. Um, and these structures then begin to differentiate. In other words, the brain in its infinite, we call it innate intelligence, it's built into the genetic code and the other information of the cell. And it allows, in other words, you need a structure like a nervous system to let this cell communicate with this cell. They're no longer touching each other. The structure is big enough that you need a connector uh, like an internet system inside the body so these, those cells can co coordinate activities. So specialization happens where the um, direction of the nervous system, the brain, you, you have your optic rudiment. There's a, the nerves allow these cells in this region to specialize and start doing the capabilities of the heart, this pumping motion, and not do some of the other capabilities that are within that same gene code of those cells they're suppressed, those other uh, potential capabilities. And like the kidney functions are going to do those expression of those genes and not other genes, not the heart genes. Uh, and here's an arm bud developing. And of course, you see the segments that will be the spine. And that is how your all of your cells talk to each other and coordinate function is that information coming to the brain from the spine and then from the brain back to the end organs um, through, again, through the spine. So if you have an interference of which uh, a bone out of line pinches a nerve, that causes a problem and a, a less than optimal function of the nerve to the point of disease. So, bo and bone into line uh, releases the nerve to do its normal capabilities and thus allowing the body to heal itself. So wherever, a, whenever a subluxation happened, if it's, if it's in utero or if it's in childhood, or if it's in adulthood, it's going to cause malfunction. That's why they need to be detected and corrected as early as possible. So then in the adult, full, fully um, evolved, fully developed function, you have a map of which nerves exiting, what part of the spine going to which organs. And this is well, well documented in the anatomical research of the, um, how humans work and be th com of th 
all of those functions are governed through the nervous system throughout life. So think about that when you are, the follow-up video to this is uh, chiropractic lifestyle. Well, we're, we will talk about other potential ways of things interfering with the normal capability of the nervous system. And feel free to visit our website and call us anytime with any questions. Circle Chiropractic Center. Thank you very much.